What is up guys, it's Soul Bash, and we are going to cover the new expansion, the Overlord, and prepare to rule it because we've got a lot of things coming out with it, including a new mount system, a new guild wars called Warpath, a new pit, actually two new pits, new level caps, which it should believe take it up to 100. We have two new mega bosses coming out, brand new chapters for everyone to explore, and quality 32 rooms and there could possibly be more on the tail of that that we have not heard of yet but let's get into it guys all right guys we're going to start off with the mounts there will be three of them available to us one being spark fang the tiger the second being Frosthorn the rhino and the third one being fireborn the dragon now we're going to go over these individually we're going to start with spark fang is a quick as lightning and has agile attacks. Sparkfane is going to have an electric element to him. Now moving on to Frosthorn, he is the icy loyal rhino that can cool things down pretty quickly and of course he is going to be the element of frost. And last but not least we have Fireborn. Fireborn will unleash a volcanic force and he can blow back enemies with powerful skills. That is going to be a unique addition for the elemental of fire now also guys these mounts they do have their own unique hit points so you will have hit points when you are mounted on them they both each individually have their own unique attacks now if the mount does die in the battle it will not return until the next battle so if you lose it you're on your feet and back to the old school stuff now you're going to need to develop these mounts just like you would your pets your character and anything else and also you're going to get stat boost to that main character that you're on regardless if you're on the mount or not so if you're not using the mount you're still going to get a stat boost from it and some mounts can be pickpocketed as you can see right here the bottom left tab on this screen and also they are going to be available in the pvp store and they are also going to be available in the Battlefield Honor Store. As you can tell, they scale from green all the way to gold, I believe. Now for the Warpath. This is a similar game mode to Battlefield. And it's much like Relic Rumble, where guilds bid on territories. And the top two bidders go to the battle. Now for the fighting, this is going to be a 25 versus 25. Similar to the Battle Royale, but with a unique twist. Both sides are going to face off against each other, but instead of fighting each other, we're looking to defeat bosses on each side of the map. Now, to defeat these bosses, they're going to be immune to begin with, so you're going to have to capture resource nodes and defeat enemies to weaken the bosses so you can do damage to them. Now, if you defeat the boss before your opponent does, you win, and both sides will gain participation rewards. Also, we have two new mega bosses one confirmed you can see right here is the giant tree I'm not sure exactly what his name is going to be yet and i've also heard rumors of either skeleton king or nami being the other mega boss and guys new pets who's been waiting on more pets they are coming right here we have two of them we have jib jab the tribal warrior with bamboo armor and we also have master Shu the martial arts master none other than to believe to be have taught the panda all right guys that is going to be it for this video thank you guys for watching and if you would like to you can check this video out right here on the equipment discovery and demigods get the scoop on how to get those stats from that and you can also check out this video here i did on exchange stones as always guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.